Ollie, do you think your players stopped when the linesman's flag went up? Uh, Ashley certainly uh, holds his uh, hand up, you see, because he can look straight at the linesman. Maybe he hesitates a little bit. He could have probably got a block in. That probably would have helped David. So, but that's no um, no consolation for us now because it's a perfectly good goal for them. So, uh, probably should have kept the flag down. But that, uh, yeah. Do you think that's a problem that the Premier League have deviated from the rules of Champions League and other foreign leagues that the, the linesman still puts his flag up rather than just letting the action play out and then you can bring it back? He definitely he made an impact on the uh, on the situation by raising the flag. When you're when it's that way, you could wait and do, uh, take it later. When it's the handball that we could have should have had a penalty, make a decision and take it back. It's uh, uh, it's sometimes, but that's up to the referee. What you thought you should have had a penalty? There was a handball shout there that we could have, could have, should have. It's, it's like the loads of the penalty decisions now that the ref, refs are. Uh, if you don't make it, you can't uh, really go back and uh, have it. So, but it's it's a work in progress. I'm uh, I'm for the right decisions, and they definitely deserve their goal today. Because that, yeah. Usually we see you quite calm in the first half, especially observing the game. This time you seem very much more active. What was the thinking behind that, and what did you want to, to change? Well, I thought first 15, 20 minutes we were a bit, um, I think we could have been more direct, more positive. The first time Andreas turns, drives at them, we created chances. He had a good shot blocked. So I just wanted the boys to um, grasp the moment because I felt first half we controlled it, dominated, but didn't really create enough. And um, at times you uh, you sit down, at times you, uh, you, you just get that feeling, don't you? Well, you've, you've scored now, I think, on more than one goal in only three of the last um, 21 games. So how do you get more clinical? Because it seems to be a recurring theme, not, not scoring enough goals. Oh, well, we, uh, it's another game that we've uh, we won it up here, we won it up Southampton, we won it up uh, uh, Wolverhampton. We need to learn to win these games. And that's uh, part of the learning, you know, six young boys through our academy Sir Mason comes on that's a big big plus for us we know I've, we've sat there so many times that this team is going to be uh, improving and uh, I thought we saw some excellent performances Scotty Andreas um, we can see Axel's going to be a top top player so some very positive things is that a confidence issue Ollie, that once they scored it doesn't seem to be that, that another gear to go to. Ah, there's another gear. It's uh, sometimes, you know, that goal uh, might just... Mm, uh, half-time just came. So we didn't come out of the blocks second half. Uh, first 15 minutes, it was, it was almost like uh, we gifted them the initiative. After they scored, the response was fantastic. I thought we uh, put the game to them again, dominated. Of course, they, they're a good team counter-attacking. So they created some... Uh, chances through counter attacks, but I thought we uh, we responded excellent. What was the thinking behind putting two and Zebi at left back tonight? I think yeah, I think that showed by him uh, uh, playing well against Pepe. I think Pepe is a threat, and Axel did really well. We've uh, we've had a few uh, injuries and illnesses, so um, that was a decision decision when Aaron wasn't uh, fit to play. Ollie, nine points from seven games is the club's worst start for 30 years in the league. What makes you confident you can turn this situation around uh, and get the club back to the towards the? There's top? many many things that we uh, we look at and uh, many things that gives me loads of confidence. We can talk about performances and uh, but the results that matter. You you can say you can talk about the results. I can talk about the. Six out of seven games, good performances. Uh, West Ham, we know, was uh, below par, but still not as bad as uh, you lot uh, made it out to be. Holly, was it Marcus and Paul both fully fit, or were they yeah. sort of still carrying the no. effects? Both fit, yeah. Just in terms of Marcus's performance, he sort of seemed to hesitate a little bit when he was through against Socrates and also against Louise. I just wondered what you thought of those situations. Well, there's, you've got to make a decision there and then. Marcus makes... Uh, 
defenders uh, fear him with his pace. Uh, sometimes he trusts his uh, his finishing, his shots. Today he went for a shot. Maybe another time he'll take him on. It, de- it depends on what he feels is right there and then. And um, no, loads of good things. Uh, bit disappointed with only one point. Probably that's because you're winning the game one nil. Uh, then again, both teams probably d- didn't deserve to lose. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, maybe weekend, uh, if not after international break. Not in Europe, no.